Hello everyone and welcome back. This is TechMatic. Thank you for joining me today. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 2024 roadmap for Enshrouded. This image came about the way of our Steam Enshrouded page. And there's actually a link on there, which you can go ahead and find to go ahead and upvote a lot of the features that you want to see implemented into the game itself. So here we have a bunch of things for 2024. We can expect a lot of these things probably to hit fall time, quarter three. And that is including the mountain biome itself, which is the meat and potatoes of all of this stuff. And we'll go ahead and talk more about that in a little bit. But there's a lot of different server side support things that are happening for gameplay settings, as well as user rights, as well as Steam Deck support that's going to be implemented into the game itself. Not to mention the game is going to be going through some polish phases, as well as adding higher FPS and performance improvements. And of course, some quality of life things like map location improvements, as well as nameable, nameable bases, excuse me. But the meat and potatoes, like I said, is going to be the mountain biome because it takes up about 75% of the northern area. If you were to travel to the border of the map itself today, you can see that it expands quite a ways. And this is going to include a lot of different things. So we're going to see things like townsfolk and their pets. So we could possibly get a pet system inside of the game right now. The Beastmaster can tame a pet for a limited amount of time. But, you know, after that, we can't keep them. Having a pet system inside of the game itself would be very nice. We also see that we can go ahead and rear animals in the future, as well as having more NPC instances. So I'm thinking along the lines that there's going to be quests and rewards and lore that are going to be included in these to go ahead and make these instances. Maybe we visit a town that's under attack and then an instance uh, initiates and then we're defending that town or, or something to the sort. But we also have other furniture improvements as well as, you know, new buildables with this new biome that we're going to be getting like new trees to harvest or to gather new building materials, all that other good stuff. There's a number of different UI improvements that are included in this list, and you can go ahead and check out Steam right now and check out this image. But we also have, with the meat and potatoes of this, new enemies and bosses, as well as enemy patrols. So enemy patrols right now are going to kind of flush out the world itself and kind of give us more incentive. Maybe there's a roaming boss pack that's out there, similar to how you would find enemy bosses roaming around the dead zone inside of um, the division. I would think it would be like that or uh, having some of the events in like Dying Light 2 where you're just wandering around and you see enemy bosses kind of uh, on your radar on the minimap and you can go ahead and get to them. But we're going to be seeing a vanity system included so that we can go out, you know, and dress our character to our liking and have that kind of feature added into the game. Portals to other servers. Now, this is an interesting one because it kind of begs to to see like are we going to get some area that we're going to be able to access or is it going to be like another alternate dimension of the enshrouded map to a time where the shroud wasn't here you know there's a lot of different things that are kind of flying in the air right now but we take a look at some other features that are going to be added in early access later this year so this year is important we're going to see things like more biomes instance dungeons and water world events shareable gameplay experiences as well as sharing our bases with other people so there's a lot of things that are going to be coming later this year but right now we can assume that this mountain biome might hit probably sometime in july i would say is the earliest that it would launch but you know like they said more biomes we could see a different biome by the end of the year for all we know um, but if they stick to the formula that they've currently got and recruit more talent with the massive success that they've seen, we can definitely see more of these features as well as more suggestions. So if you have something that you want to suggest, I, I would implore you to go ahead and take a look at this forum and upvote a lot of the features that are already on there. There's a lot of things that I was looking at. Um, and we can actually see and shape this game to how we want to play in a survival crafting environment. So. If you made it this far, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and we will all see you in the next one. Thank you. Have a good day.